Hello, I'm Shannon Byerly, and today my devotion is on fear. Isaiah 41.10 tells us, Do not be afraid, I am with you. Do not be terrified, I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. My powerful right hand will take good care of you. And yet we have all faced and dealt with fear during our life, and some still do. Fear comes in all shapes and sizes, like fear of spiders, snakes, and other animal creatures. While others may fear failure, change, sickness, dying, or being alone. I have always considered myself a strong and somewhat fearless person. A few years ago, our family went through many different seasons which seemed to come one right after the other. My husband's lovely mother was diagnosed with lung cancer and fought right up until the end. <clears throat> and during that same time, his father was going through cancer surgeries and treatments. We had also had my beautiful mother in and out of the hospital with lots of major health issues which took her from us a few short months after losing my mother-in-law. Our family was full of stress and heartbreak. Not long after losing my mother's, I thought we were almost through these seasons of our lives, but in November, yet more bad news to our broken-hearted family. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. The dreaded words that filled every inch of my body with fear. <clears throat> fear of what my husband would do and also what my girls would do um, without their mother after just losing both grandparents. After nights of worry, very little sleep, and overtaken by fear and what lies ahead, I came to terms with all the fears and just decided to hand it over to God and ask him to hold on to me and my family during this fight. I began reading devotions and different Bible verses about fear and instantly would feel the weight lifted off. It was a long and challenging path with many twists and turns, but we overcame and faced that awful fearful cancel work together. All with the help of God, prayers, family and friends, and all the wonderful prayer warriors at Mount Pleasant. In my heart, I believe we have freedom from fear because he is with us always. He gives us strength so we can face whatever comes our way and tells us to trust in him. We might still feel afraid, but we must believe that God is with us. We may not be in control, but we can trust the one who is. We may not know the future, but we know the God that does. We just need to learn to tell fear, you have no place here, you will never be welcome here. Thank you.